My name is Nino. Let me tell you about two types of chemicals. First is PBDE, or polybrominated diphenyl ethers. It is a flame retardant that prevents burning of combustible materials. Like car seats and car paints of old cars like this one from easily catching fire. Stay away from the car, boy! The most common item almost everyone, including children, has now is the cell phone. Old cell phones contain PBDE and many other hazardous chemicals. PBDEs can also be released during manufacture. The other chemical is PCB, polychlorinated biphenyl. It can be found as dialectic fluid. Ah, like an insulator and old electrical transformers. Industries use a lot of electric transformers. These are huge. But where do they discard them after use? I knew it! These PCB containing transformers are just lying around in this vacant property. Ah. Old light switches have PCB, as well as old fluorescent light ballasts. So, so what? They are not just bad, they are toxic, hazardous. That's why they are called persistent organic pollutants or POPs. POPs? Why are POPs bad, Kuya Nino? Aww. When equipment containing these chemicals become waste and get improperly managed, exposed to heat and rain, PCBs and PBDEs are released into the environment. These toxic chemicals seep through the soil, contaminating our groundwater, lakes, our rivers, and the sea. At sea, they are absorbed by phytoplanktons, which are eaten by zooplanktons, which in turn are eaten by fish like the snapper or maya maya. PCB contamination of animal feeds have also been documented. What? Gosh! All of these contaminated meat and fish may just end up in our local supermarket. Since pops are carried by the wind, and sea currents, and we export and import meat and fish, fresh or processed, that makes pops transboundary. Why do you know all this, Kuya Nino? On my way home, I saw a group of environmentalists. A guy threw a paper and I was able to grab a hold of this, a flyer. That's why governments are doing more to ban and safely manage persistent organic pollutants. In fact, these are targeted for elimination. By whom? By 181 nations to date, including the Philippines. By all parties to the Stockholm Convention on Pops, which was adopted in 2001 and entered into force in 2004. There were only 12 then. There are now 28 Pops in the Stockholm Convention list. That's my student, Nino Matalino. It's good to know that many countries, including the Philippines, are undertaking the safe and ecological management of PCBs and electronic waste which contain PBDE. Then let's support, support the safe management, management of us. Support, support the safe management, management of PCBs and PBDEs.